In this episode of Bali Marine Life, you'll find out how and why fish school. Hello underwater friends, this is Kim from Bali Marine Life. In today's episode, you're going to get to experience a large school of yellow striped scad. Today I went diving in Tulampen, Bali at a site called the Drop Off. Now earlier that morning, my husband Mike and I went on a boat dive to a place called Emerald Bay. And that was a deep dive with strong currents. And then when we came back, I said, I would like to go in the shallows today. So my dive guide took me to just about five meters or 15 feet. And that's where I got to experience this awesome school of yellow striped scat. I've seen this school before. And pretty much every time I come to Bali, I go and look for this school. It's never in the same exact spot, but I can count on finding it as long as I have my dive guy, Wayan. Now, although scat are commercially sought after species, and I used to eat them a lot in Korea, um, these are not really hunted locally because this is a popular diving town, Tulumban, Bali, and the fishermen know to just leave this school alone because it's really an attraction for divers. But when they are hunted in the world, scat are caught with trawl nets or seine nets. And the way that they school is also their downfall because when fish school like this, they are really easy to find with fish finders or hydroacoustics because they look like something very large and the boats can use sounding and just find the schools very easily. So in some places they are overfished, but not here. Now I took a few video clips and I got different angles and I swam around the school. And I wanna just explain why these fish are schooling and what's going on. Well, fish school for several reasons. And the main reason is protection. By forming in the school, they look like something larger. And another reason is it's more efficient to swim in schools. And the way that they are keeping their distance from each other is because fish have what's called a lateral line and it senses the water pressure around them and they know to keep a certain distance from each other. And then they take turns leading the pack and, and going behind. And this is much more energy efficient for them to school as opposed to them swimming individually. So they definitely swim for protection and energy efficiency but fish also school for another reason, and that's to hunt. Now, that's not to happen in this case, but you've heard of piranha, and they are a fish that would school to hunt. These fish are not actually eating at any time during my videos because these fish, in these yellow striped scad, they feed at night. And that's when the school will break apart, and the fish will swim out individually, and they'll swim over the reef, and they'll eat plankton, but they're carnivores, so they'll eat zooplankton. They'll eat crustaceans, they'll eat mollusks, they'll eat even small fish. So they eat zooplankton and small fish, and they swim about, and they're nocturnal feeders in this part of the world. Now you'll notice something else is that they have pretty big eyes, and the eyes are on the sides of their head. So those big eyes help them for hunting at night, and it also helps them see the fish on the sides on either side of them and what's really cool about what i saw today and you may have noticed it is there's giant trevally and they just sometimes just swim under the school startling all the fish and the fish break apart trying to confuse the trevally and then they just get swim back together again so this was just a fascinating thing to see on my dive today and i hope you enjoyed learning about the yellow striped scad. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching.